Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my channel. We're discussing Mandela Effects and have a like. Thank you for joining in tonight. Welcome all Mandela Effect teams. Hey guys, I'm going to jump right in here. Um, I'm actually, this video is not, not anything new. I'm just extending someone else's research. Uh, thanks to Kat for discovering this one. Uh, Revelation 20 verse 8. Um, tell me, you tell me guys what sounds wrong about this one. And shall go out to deceive the nations to the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together for battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. Now, um, this, um, I'll tell you right now what's wrong with it. You guys do see that, right? The four, it should be four corners of the earth, but it's changed spiritually to quarters of the earth. Um, not all the translations are affected. About half of them are. But um, I've, I always turn to the uh, Greek interlinear scripture for all is where I usually go. And if you look here, the uh, the word for corners is uh, uh, gonia or goniaeus. OK, that's the word for corners. And um, I, I researched the Strong's Concordance, Strong's Greek. There's actually nine occurrences in the Bible in the King James. And all eight out of nine times say corner, the corners, OK, from that word. But if you look in the King James, only in Revelation 20, verse 8, says quarters. So I find that very strange. Okay? It's like the devil is giving himself power um, because he's gaining, um, gathering, the, uh, deceiving the nations to the four quarters of the earth. Anyway, guys, I hope this video goes through. Thanks for checking me out. Have a great Mandela Effect evening, and God bless.